I know you're going to dig this. Get, get, fu- get funky with me. What's going on everybody? How are you doing today? So here I am at the University of Florida in Gainesville and I'm here at the bat house. Ziz. There's a bunch of them. There's like three. Three bat houses. Now I love animals. That's been well documented on my channel. I always talk about animals. I have a dog. I love dogs. love bears. love alligators especially. I don't like Canadian geese. I'm Canadian. I'm allowed to say that. Another animal that I just don't like besides llama. Llama. I don't like bats. Petrified of bats. I've never liked bats. Does anybody really like? I, I you know, I'm sure that people don't like bats. It's, they're, you're, you're weirdos. Bats freak me out. Back out into a cottage once that I was staying at up in northern Ontario. Into the room, flapping around, and we were. I was on the bottom bunk, and it was, it was a nightmare trying to get the bat out. Screaming, my friend screaming. I woke up. I said, Robbie, is that a bat? He said, Yep. And we lost it. We lost it. He was on the top bunk. I was on the bottom bunk. My friend was in the other bunk. We ran around. It's a. We left, we left the cottage and I forget, I think his father got the bat out. Got the bat out. So anyway, so here I am. And it's my birthday today. And I like to confront my own fears sometimes. Like heights, I'm now over heights. I used to not like heights. Now I go up to the top of the highest like rise of the music parks or tall, tallest buildings like the Willis Tower of Chicago, which is here on my channel. Uh, something else I don't like that I did. Uh, oh, I, did, I had a fear of flying for a long time. And then I finally flew. I flew once, it was a bad experience and something bad happened a long time ago, blah, blah, blah. But then I started flying, I got over it, I'm fine. Bats, I don't think I'll ever get over. Okay, so I've talked for like 18,000 hours. Let's get these bats out of here. Now you're not supposed to provoke the bats, throw things at the bats, or do anything to, to, to anger the bats, or throw things at the bat house, or at a bat, pick up a bat. There's a lot of bat rules. Now. I don't plan on doing any of that. Why would I do that? Why would I antagonize a bat? The last thing I want to do is antagonize a bat or touch a bat or pick up a bat. I'm not going to do anything to do. Have I just want to see the bats, but I'll probably scream. We got to wait for the bats. Let me show you around. Now, if a bat comes near me, I will press that. So this is a huge campus, and apparently, if like it's really it's getting stormy and windy out now, it's Florida. Now, apparently, the bats don't come out if it rains or a thunderstorm or something. Of course they don't. So hopefully they're gonna come out. But look what's here. This freaks me out too. Even though I love alligators, look at this. It's not an alligator, but it's close. Imagine going to school and there are alligators on the property. And sna snakes? What? Young bats start flying in about five weeks of day. All right, I'm gonna. I know everything about bats. I'm afraid of them, but I'm gonna tell you. I'll tell you the real story about bats. Bats are dicks. That's pretty much all you need to know. They stink. They're rodents. They can crawl in and out of those little vents with ease. Then they flap around. The good thing is they do eat all these mosquitoes. I mean, that's a good thing they do. But other than that, they're dicks. They're gonna get in your hair and they're gonna screech. You're gonna screech. They're. They can see. They have. You're not supposed to yell around them because you know their ears. They've got a lot of rules about bats. But I really want to see them. I want to see the night sky fill. Now, they're Brazilian bats. So, they salsa dance? <laughs> Is that No, that's not, that's not I'm just joking. Come on, I love Brazil. Viva. Hey. So, at sunset, which should be around 8.02 tonight, the bats are going to come out. And then they're gonna go feed, then they're gonna go back. What are they gonna feed on? I'm assuming me. Let's wait for the bats. I'm afraid to touch anything because I feel like there's gonna be bat guano everywhere. Bat poop. Are in their cars waiting to see the bats. These two ladies are sitting here, which is where I feel like I should be, but that's where the bats are going to come right over. Then they're going to, well, take me away. 
I think two bats could easily carry me. Bats are really strong. But like I said, dicks. Oh. Nasty. You. Now, like I said, these are Brazilian bats, but they're actually called Brazilian free tail bats. And what a free tail bat is, it means that their tail extends beyond the end of their tail membrane. So it's a longer tail. And they stink. Waiting for a bat to come. Carry me away to the water where alligators are and they'll eat me too. Well, first of all, me. Waiting for a bat to come. I'm just waiting on a lady. I'm just waiting on a bat. I knew you were waiting. I knew you were waiting for bats. Look, see, it's getting crowded. People are waiting for bats. The dude over there in the Superman shirt asked me about, uh, what time I thought the bats would come out. I don't know why he asked me out of everyone. But I said around 8.02. He said 8.02? He said, yeah, he said they, they're going to fly around? I said, yeah, around 8.02. Well, I'm not running a circus here, folks. What do you call the guy that's uh, the, uh, the guy that runs the circus? The ringmaster. I'm not going to stand here with my hand and go, release the bats. That'd be cool, though. So Superman shirt. I'm not in charge of the bats. Don't ask me any more questions. God, it's just the heat, even at night, is really unbearable. And I'm waiting for bats in this fields of corn. Oh, yeah. Wasn't that a sting song, Fields of Corn? Mm. Hey, Superman shirt. Shouldn't you be wearing a Batman shirt? <laughs> Why are you wearing flip flops, dude? Stop it. Go home and change and come back. Sorry, I just don't like flip-flops. I just don't like the sound they make. I live by a certain set of rules, and that's one of them. My friends say I'm really weird, that I have a lot of different uh, hang-ups and, uh, uh, what do you call it? Hang-ups. And one of them would be flip-flops. Yeah, I'm not a fan of uh, the sound they make. Ah, uh, they bother me. And denim shorts for men, it's not a good look. And if you're over the age of eight, you can't wear pajama pants in public. No. She heard me. It's quite a crowd waiting for the bats. It's like a Stones concert. I was waiting for the waiting for the band to come on stage. Play Free Bird. Yeah, I know that's Skinnerd. Anybody want a peanut? As much as I hate bats, the bugs out here are driving me mental. So I kind of want them to come out and kill all. I want to see a, like a death. Match to the death in the sky between the bats and mosquitoes. I want the bats to win, then I want the bats to all leave right away. But there, I mean, there's mosquitoes everywhere, so I'm kind of on the side of the bat right now, even though they freak the f out of me. All right, it's almost that time. It's almost time for the bats. This is a big build up for bats. They better come out. If they're shy or if they're like, not, oh, I don't feel like it today. Nah, nah, it's gonna stay in bed. No, I don't want to put on this show. I will go in there and I will tear each and every one of them down. There's like a thousand billion of them in there. I'll tear each of them down and throw them into the air, make them fly, just for you. Let's wait for the bats. Okay, it is 8.02. This is the time that said sun sets in Gainesville today. And they come out right after sunset. Like while the sun is setting type of thing. Dusk. Where are the freaking bats? Now it is starting to rain a bit too. So that's when they say the bats maybe won't come out when it rains. <sighs> you wanna see this guy's head up close? Okay.
bat's not getting stuck in his hair. Oh god, did you hear that? That was a weird noise. I got really scared. There's, everybody's pointing at different things and there's weird noises. Just come out. Type of incident, moths, beetles, mosquitoes, flies, gnats, leaf hoppers, midges, wing dance. This is what they eat. Many other pests of lawns, shrubs, trees, crops, and humans. Many other pests, oh pests of humans. I thought they said they eat humans. No, pests of humans. I believe the bat is a pest of a human. What's a leaf hopper? 750,000 is the capacity we can hold. Right now there's about 450,000. 400,000 in there. Each night, they eat more than three billion insects, 3,000 pounds. What? <laughs> you're not a bat, you're a big. Beware of falling urine and guano as bats fly overhead. That's so rude. Look at this head of hair, come on. What? If they ruin this head of hair, if, they, if one bat gets caught, I'm shaving it off and I don't know what I'll do. Did I mention that these are the world's largest occupied bat houses? But what if, where, where, are the, where are the world's largest unoccupied bat houses? Who's got those going? That's lame. Well, I build a lot of bat houses, but they don't seem to want to live in my bat houses. Well, you shouldn't have built them unless you saw the bats first. There's a weird smell in the air, like very uh, pungent, flowery odor. I'm not joking. I don't know what it is all of a sudden, what that means. That's like their stage entrance. If they spray that, then the laser light show begins and they come out. Laser bats? I'm not sure. <laughs> ah, it smells nice though. And I'm such a moron that I just realized what the smell is. It's bug spray. Everybody's got bug spray on except me. It's like off. Whatever the hell it's called, yeah. It, that's what the pungent odor is all of a sudden. Everybody showed up and it smells like insect repellent. I'm the only one not wearing it. I gotta go rub myself against someone. Hold on. I think he's the one I'm gonna rub up against. Give me your repellent. Oh shoot, I just saw, like, here they come, here they come, here they come. I just saw, oh, there's one. Oh dear God. I just saw, like, they're starting to come. The bats are coming. Oh my God, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. This is freaking me out, man. This is freaking me out. There's like three, that's it. There's a show. What up, Red Hat? Okay, they're 11 minutes late. This is ridiculous. This is like Axl Rose style. Just get on stage and perform. It's 90210 night. Can we hurry up, please? Oh. Perfect. Okay, I'm diving under there. Come on under the umbrella, lady. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, 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 here we go. Jesus, here we go. Thanks, Carol in the studio. That's right, this is Scott on tape, and I am at the University of Florida in Gainesville, and the bats, they keep on coming. They are coming fast, they are furious. We urge everyone to seek shelter. Put your head between your legs and wait it out. I'm sure the smell down there is better than the smell these things are giving off. Okay, Carol, back to you in the studio. I'm gonna go jump in Alligator Lake. Well, it seems to, that's it. That's not 400,000 bats. I was told that the night sky would fill with bats. <sighs> Yeah, like there's, there's a few lollygaggers coming up behind. They're tired. They woke up late. 
They're still coming out, but the bats have gone. The bats have flown off. There's still one over there. I'm gonna follow that one. Pajama bottom girl is leaving. She's tired. She's gotta go to sleep, but she's already ready. Let's put on a pair of pants when you go out. All right, so that's it. I was a dick, just like the bats are. I don't care. So, my birthday, I uh, overcame my fear of bats, did I? Yeah, mosquitoes, still hate them. No, well, you know what? If I saw one single bat with a bat, but I wasn't aware that I was near a bat, you know, condo complex, then I'd freak out still. So, I'm not afraid of bats because I stood underneath them, but I still don't really like them. I am assumed they're all full of rabies, attitude, so I'm gonna stay far away from bats still. I'll look at them through glass, like if, if they're like uh, like on display somewhere, like in a bat con, like at a zoo. If that's, but that, that's kind of, I don't want them to have to be in that. They should be able to fly free like this. So a place like this is really cool. If you're in Florida and you're near Gainesville, come and check it out around this time of day. Will you be disappointed? I don't think so. Were you disappointed by this video? I don't know. I guess I'll find out. Thank you so much for watching. All right, bats. I'm going to go home and take a shower because I just feel like there's some bat guano and bat urine on me. But then again, I always feel like that. And it's probably mostly always true. Thank you for watching. Peace. Out. Here's Superman showing in front of me. He's happy. He saw the bats. He got what he paid for. All right. Oh, Superman shirt. <laughs> Take it easy. Later. Get a fortress of solitude. <laughs> get it like get a room, but get a fortress of solitude because he's Superman. I have to stop talking now. Bye.